The Gigabyte Eagle model is one of the better priced RTX 5070 Ti's available on the market right now. They never compare GPU prices from their MSRP. I actually bothered to check what they're selling for right now on PC Park Picker. Both of these cards come with 16 gigabytes of VRAM as well, so it's going to be interesting to see how much more performance an extra 570 bucks gets you from Team Green. Both the RTX 5080 and RTX 5070 Ti are built on Nvidia's Blackwell architecture, bringing support for DLSS 4, advanced ray tracing and AI accelerated workloads. However, they differ significantly in raw performance and I will have some ray tracing benchmarks a little later on in the video. The RTX 5080 has stacks more CUDA cores compared to its little brother, nearly 20%, so that's a big difference, most noticeable in GPU heavy tasks like rendering or real-time ray tracing. Clock speeds also differ, this MSI RTX 5080 Vanguard has a base boost clock of 2740 megahertz. In comparison, this Gigabyte RTX 5070 Ti Eagle has a reference 2452 megahertz clock speed, but I have no doubt it will boost a lot higher than that when I get to testing. Both cards come with 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory on a 256-bit bus. The RTX 5080 edges out in memory speed, giving a higher memory bandwidth for demanding titles. Power-wise, the RTX 5080 needs ideally a 850-watt PSU while the 5070 Ti is a bit more forgiving and only requires 750 watts. Right, let's talk gaming performance. In modern AAA titles, an RTX 5080 consistently outperforms an RTX 5070 Ti, particularly at higher resolutions such as 1440p and 4K. For example, in Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K with max ray tracing and DLSS 4, the RTX 5080 averages at around 140fps, while the 5070 Ti sits closer to around 110fps. Right everyone, the RTX 5080 is ideal for enthusiasts seeking top tier performance in gaming and creative applications. Its higher core count and faster memory make it a powerhouse for demanding tasks, but its price is a hefty jump over the 5070 Ti, especially since they both have the same amount of VRAM. So which GPU do you believe offers the best value? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews and comparisons. Until next time, my name's Mark from Solids Tech, catch you in the next one.